this impressive stone-built church sits at the top of War Hill, the site of the battle between the invading Normans and the local Saxons. The churchyard has been in use for centuries, the oldest grave being one from 1649, just on the right of the path leading to the front door. According to an old Longendale tradition, Warhill Mottram is the site of a battle which was fought in the 12th century between the forces of the Princess Matilda and King Stephen. King Stephen was currently seated on the throne, which he had won by violence. As he had usurped the sovereign power without the pretense of a title, he had to tolerate in others the same violence to which he himself had been beholden for his crown. Lady Matilda, King Henry's child, sought to drive the usurper from the throne. Even in times of peace, the nobles played havoc with the property of the people. But now that war was here, the royal castle set forth gangs of licensed robbers, and the homesteads of Longendale were burned, and the people were driven to the woods, and the flocks and herds of the yeomen were confiscated. The people of Longendale were forced to take sides, either for the king's men or for the Princess Matilda's men. Many of them scattered into the woods to hide. They thought that the nobles should fight the war themselves and leave the poor people alone. Those that remained chose their sides and formed armies to fight against their neighbours, now perceived as enemies, depending on the side they had chosen. It was in the grey dawning of an autumn day when the two armies met. The battle was fought on a hill in the Mottram township, where the ancient church of Mottram now stands. But there was no sacred building there on that grey morning of long ago, when the clashing of arms awoke the echoes and the air was heavy with the shrieks of dying men. The army of Matilda was posted on the hill. The position was strong and commanding. From the top they could see into the basin below and see the approach of the enemy and fight him with the advantage. As the grey light broke from the east, the watchers on the hill saw the first line of King Stephen's forces emerge from the woods. The king's army was a mighty host. The bright spears gleamed in the light of the dawn and the archers carried great quivers full of deadly goose-tipped shafts. Soldiers of Stephen advanced up the hill. They left many dead upon the slopes. The army of Matilda hung thick and massive upon the crest and waited with unbroken front for the closing in of the enemy. They rained down their flights of arrows but kept their ranks unbroken. The advancing army of Stephen had a trick up their sleeves. At a given signal, they turned and fled in pretend confusion. With a wild yell, the unwary men of Matilda broke from their post upon the summit and charged down to slay King Stephen's men. The host of King Stephen turned around on the hill so that there was no escape for the men who stood upon it waiting. Death was everywhere. Death for the victors and the vanquished. That was the last stand for Princess Matilda in that part of Cheshire and the old chronicles say that the blood shed in the battle ran in a stream down the slopes and formed a great pool at the foot of the hill. The world is full of changes and on the back of war comes the angel form of peace. Men call the hill where the battle had been fought War Hill and after days, the builders raised the sacred pile of Mottram Church. Recently, I had an interesting talk with Thomas Sheridan about the hinterlands of Longendale and the surrounding areas. We talked about what we thought may be the reason for many strange occurrences and phenomena here. Do traumatic occurrences create such a psychic charge that impacts the energy of the surrounding geology? and traps it in some sort of way. Could this bloody battle have contributed to that? 
a battle where thousands of men were slain to their deaths in the name of war and said to be buried here. Maybe the church was built to consecrate the land where those who died lay. Could it have been built here in order to heal the land from the blood that had flowed here? Could the energy of this bloody battle now be weaved into the very fabric of time, creating a distortion in the psychic field of human consciousness? Maybe replaying like a record that is stuck in its groove. The homesteads of the time are long gone, but other old cottages currently line both sides of War Hill. Do the people who live here feel the atmosphere or notice anything strange and ghostly? The area does have a very quiet and sombre atmosphere. It is a place of local people's history where many people of the area, both from olden times to present day, are buried here and remembered. Despite the bloody battle that happened here, the place does have an air of peace and healing about it. It is very quiet and has a very gothic feel, both architectural and atmospheric, and you can easily get lost in your thoughts here. Whenever I walk around this place, it commands a respect for those that lay here. It makes me think and take stock and find gratitude in the everyday. To never take anyone or anything for granted, for we are all heading the same way and every day is a gift and should be embraced. Ginger fairies.